What's up, you're watching Claws Fitness. It's Josh and Kyle, and today we're gonna show you three unique tips to really develop those arms, get those massive Hulk arms. Let's get into it. First hack, and this is a huge one, listen closely, you're gonna thank me for this. This is something that took me a while to figure out. So there's an old saying, um, I forget who it was, but one top tier, I think Olympian said, I'm not doing anything different than you, I'm just doing my exercises better than you. So take this and take this and really think about it. So, I mean, we're all kind of using the same pool of exercises, some people do different ones, but it's who does them the best and who gets the most out of them. So, common thing when you're curling, if I'm like this and I'm hooking, see how I'm not really working the full bicep? I'm just working this top portion, right? So what you want to do is maximize your eccentric stretch and then your full concentric stretch. So you need to understand how angles play into this. So if you're doing skull crushers with your arm in front, I'm limiting myself to half a rep. I can't fully elongate and engage that tricep. So as you can see in this B-roll here of me doing them, this is me doing them improperly and I'm only getting half of the work that I could be out of these tricep stretch. However, when I utilize a decline bench, I position my arms backwards, I can really stretch and elongate that tricep and then get a maximum contraction as I come back up and squeeze it. Same goes with the bicep curls. As you can see me doing cable bicep curls here. Here I'm doing a little captain hook, weird baby curls. I'm gonna get a little nice top of my peak. I'm gonna have a very weird developed bicep. So when you, if you're flex here, you can see if people really, really train their biceps and get that full extension, this head's gonna pop up even more. So this is a huge hack. So if you really stretch your out work here, this is how you get that nice peak and it really develops a bigger, thicker looking bicep. So really utilize these angles and take this principle into any Mo um, movement you do and that's just a huge tip. Number two guys, this is super important. You don't want to simply rely on arm related movement. So a lot of people think they just need to come in and do curls and tricep extensions to blow up their arms, but there are so many different ways. As you guys can see in the B-roll right on the screen now, um, you know, even in the heavy cable curl, you see the biceps are being fired up, they're being contracted in a lap pull down and anything like that. There's so many different ways to really grow those arms. Just really focus on getting solid form out of those exercises and doing the right exercises to get yourself to the next level. Okay, before we get into number three, clearly you're digging this content, hopefully you're learning something. So if you love these YouTube videos, you're gonna love our podcast. So it's gonna be the first link in the description down below, check it out. There's gonna be an upload every Monday where we answer all of your questions, it's just a deep dive into everything. And then we do a quick little five to 10 minute tidbit on a topic every Thursday. So if you want more content from us, please check that out. We're on iTunes, Google, Alexa, all those good things, Spotify, check that sucker out. So number three, if you really struggle with arm development, try inserting a dedicated arm day. For most beginners, I don't necessarily think you need a dedicated arm day. As Kyle said, and he very rightly kind of pointed out, you're gonna get so much activation from using your biceps, the secondary tertiary movers, even in heavy movements like the deadlift, on, as you can see on the screen now, they're really like, they're engaged, right? They're a big part of it. And by doing heavy kind of um, cable rows, pull downs, bench press, those triceps are gonna come up. Even movements like um, spotto press, close grip bench press, like all these things will kind of help aid that growth. And when you're a beginner, you wanna focus on these bigger groups. But if arms are something you're very passionate about developing, as I have always been, I really like having a nice big kind of pump on my arms whenever I can. I find them very fun and therapeutic. I had an arm day, but I kind of use it like a rest day. So usually if I do implement an arm day, it'll be like a sixth day of the week. So usually it'll be something like push, pull, legs, um, and then a weak spot, and then maybe a second legs, and then maybe an arm day. But that'll always vary, and that's something that's a very personal question. But that dedicated arm day will give them some extra attention and love. Just make sure you program it in where it's not gonna interfere with those other days. So hopefully you love this content. I really hope you guys are. We're gonna upload every month. Monday and every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Uh, we're gonna stick to that. We're just gonna kind of put out some great content for you. So subscribe, there's gonna be more. YouTube's all messed up, as you know. Probably end the spiel from everyone, but please hit that bell if you love our content. You wanna make sure you get it. It'll mean the world, and we'll see you in the next upload. Peace.